Hey everyone, I want to take a few moments to show you how to use Screencastify. It's a great tool to create videos for students. You can include your face and voice as well, which I really like. So uh, top left corner, excuse me, I went to the Chrome Web Store. So if you do, if you just open a new tab and then go, usually your apps are right here. You'll click apps on the top left and then bottom right, very bottom right corner, you see Web Store. If you, don't do, if you don't see that, you can just Google, Google Web Store, and it'll bring it up for you. This is what it looks like. So I'm going to look in the top left corner and, uh, for, and search for Screencastify. So I type it in the box and push Enter. Oops, I spelled something wrong. There we go. This is the one you want, the orange one that says Screencastify. I already have it, so it shows it as Rate It. Yours will say add to Chrome like this edit this cookie has down here. So you're going to click add to Chrome and it's going to ask you if you want to, it's going to confirm with you if you want to do that. And then you just confirm. What it's going to do then is up here in next to the URL, it will add that Screencastify icon to your extensions. So extensions help make Chrome work better and that's what it's doing here. So then I'm going to go to where I want to record. So let me just um, open something up. Let's say I want to give a quick tutorial with something with Google Drive. So I'm going to click Screencastify. The first time I use it, I'm going to have to sign in with Google. So I click sign in with Google. Click it again. I'm going to connect it to my district account. And right now, it's uh, the paid version is free, so you want to definitely connect it to your district account. You can do your, your personal account, too. It's free. It just may have some limitations. So now I'm logged into Screencastify. I click the icon. I can choose to turn on my microphone. Make sure that's turned on. If you're on a desktop computer, computer not a laptop, you may need an external uh, microphone. Notice here the green line going up and down. That means it hears me, so I know it's working. You may also want to turn on the camera. So if you have a laptop with a camera, you can turn that on as well. I'm going to leave mine off today, um, but that's how you turn on the camera. The kids love seeing their teacher's face, so I highly recommend uh, embedding the webcam. And then you click record. It'll say what screen do you want. You just select the, the one that you want. Sometimes if you have dual screen, it'll show more than one screen. And then you click share. Counts down, three, two, one. You're recording right now, so anything that I do click on on my whole screen, even if I open a new tab, it's going to record all that information. When I'm done, there's two ways I can stop. I can click Stop Share here, but up here in the right, you see the little red dot? I can do it there as well. So if you had to hide this because it was in your way while you're trying to show your students something, you can just come up here to this dot and click Stop. So then it, it stops, or excuse me, it uh, then goes over to the next screen. You can see that it's saving to my Screencastify account, so it's saving it in the cloud. If I want to listen to what it says, I click to on mute. I don't want to do that because it'll interrupt what I'm saying. To rename the file, I simply click here, give it a name that makes sense. And then I always click out of this little box right here so that it saves it correctly. Now, on the right-hand side, we have some cool features. If you just want to get this out to your students, you don't need to do anything special with it, you click Copy Shareable Link, and that will copy the link, and then you just send it out. It's a public link, so if you need to send it to parents, that's fine, too. A second thing you can do is publish to YouTube. Uh, this allows you to add it to your YouTube page, and if you're doing this long-term, then you may want to consider doing that, uh, creating a page and have parents and students subscribe so that it comes directly to them instead of having to go find it. This next choice is share to classroom. So if I click, this is probably the most common way of using it, so share to classroom. It's going to create a link. It's going to say where in Google Classroom do you want to share. So I'm going to click on the drop down. I'm going to pick one of my classes and then the action. So this is the action is the type of assignment that you're going to be giving them. So if it's part of an assignment you're creating, you would choose create assignment. And then click go, and it's going to open up your Google Classroom just like you know it to be. So then you fill, finish filling out the information and you can assign it to your students. I'm gonna close that out. 
And then we have get embedded code. If you are a little more advanced, you may want to embed this code onto a web page you may have. Uh, that's, a, that's a capability as well. The last choice I like is to be able to download. So when I click download, uh, if I just click download here, this one, that's going to download it as a web file. You probably do not want that if you're downloading it. More than likely, you're going to want the MP4. MP4 creates a video style for you to upload somewhere else, um, email as an attachment, that kind of thing. So you can do export as MP4. That's how I make a lot of my videos, and then I uh, can put them where I want. And then you have your export as audio and export as an animated GIF, which is kind of cool too. Um, and so those are the basics of this of Screencastify. If this is a tutorial I do not want, I can click the trash can and I can delete it. Finally, how do I access all of the tutorials I've created? Click the three lines on the left and go to My Recordings. And you'll see all the recordings that you create over time. And this is why I highly recommend giving them a name as you go, because as you can see, some of these I didn't name. Now I gotta go back in and like, is this something I wanna keep or wanna throw away? And so if I've named it, that means it's definitely something I wanna keep. If you have any other questions, let me know. I'm happy to help.